Volkswagen has added further to its already extensive lineup of compact SUVs with this trendier looking model, the Tygo. This car shares much with both the Polo Super Mini and the brand's existing entrant in the compact crossover class, the T-Cross, but brings a more avant-garde vibe that will appeal more to the segment's fashionistas. And of course, with it, yet all the usual reassuring Volkswagen attributes of quality and sound engineering. Small fashion-led SUVs like this one need not dazzle dynamically, but it's always quite refreshing when they do. Sadly, that doesn't happen very often, and it hasn't here. But there are some things about the way this Tiger drives that you might really like. One of them is predictable, a supple, assured quality of ride, delivered here because this car uses the same suspension and NQB A0 chassis as Volkswagen's Polo and T-Cross models, both notable for the manner in which they smooth off the rough edges of the typical suburban British back road. More surprising, though, is the way this Tygo steers its helm pretty much a match for that of the involving Ford Puma in the way it communicates the road surface back to you. There's no real accompanying spark of agility, though, because here the priorities lie elsewhere, as do the expectations of likely customers. Which is partly why, to propel this car, almost all of them will choose the little three-cylinder, one-litre TSI engine we're trying here, offered in either 95 PS guise with a five-speed manual gearbox, or in 110 PS form with a six-speeder. This latter engine also available with a seven-speed DSG auto transmission we're trying here. A typical one-litre TSI 110 PS manual model manages very competitive efficiency readings, 52.3 mpg on the combined cycle and 123 grams per kilometre of CO2. There isn't really any need for anything heavier or more powerful beneath the bonnet, though if you disagree, a minority interest 1.5 litre TSI 150 PS four-cylinder unit sits at the top of the range, a variant which only comes with that auto box. Across the lineup, there's quite a lot of useful standard drive tech, including Volkswagen's Travel Assist semi-autonomous drive system, which comes with the brand's adaptive cruise control and predictive ACC tech, and will effectively drive the car for you at highway speeds, providing you keep your hands on the wheel. There's also a park assist setup that steers you into spaces, and plusher versions get clever IQ light LED matrix headlamps too. Volkswagen calls this an SUV coupe, and you'd get that if you placed one alongside its boxy T-Cross showroom stablemate. Otherwise, though, despite the rake back roofline, there's not much about the chunky silhouette that really shouts coupe. Volkswagen calls it sporty, rugged, urban and robust. Perhaps. It's distinctive at the front, where the LED headlights are framed by daytime running light strips. But beyond the trinketry, some clever designs in evidence, this raked back tailgate glass section is compensated for with subtly extended rear overhangs that culminate in this neat bumper with thin reflectors and this token lower faux skid plate. Where this Tygo feels just about a match for its slightly ambitious asking price. The media screen technology helps with that. Upper models like this one get an 8-inch Discover Media Center monitor paired with a customizable 10.25-inch digital cockpit pro instrument binnacle display. With base trim, the respective screen sizes fall to 6.5 and 8 inches. Some elements of the cabin quality feel a little aspirational too, like this lovely leather-stitched wheel and the soft-touch dash top. Other fittings, though, particularly the hard, brittle plastics that feature further down the fascia, remind you of this car's polo parentage. You don't sit particularly commandingly, but the seats are supportive and feature standard lumbar support. All-round visibility is pretty good for something purporting to be a coupe, and there's plenty of cabin storage for your odds and ends. OK, time to take a look in the back. Two medium-sized adults will cope OK for short to medium trips, but lankier folk are going to need some cooperation from those up front to get anything like comfortable. If that's an issue, paying only fractionally more for a T-Roc, the next SUV up in Volkswagen's lineup, would be sensible. Given this Tygo's coupe pretensions, we are impressed with the headroom, though. The design decision not to pursue a particularly rakish roofline pays off here. 
Let's finish with a look in the boot. Now, you have to lift the hatch yourself. Even the priciest Tygo can't be had with powered tailgate assistance. And once it's raised, you'll find a usefully shaped 351 litre space. The rear backrest splits conventionally 60-40. We'd have much preferred the more flexible 40-20-40 split you get in this segment on a Mini Countryman. But once everything's almost flat, up to 1,125 litres of room can be freed up. 